Hey, Shalom, Brother Arak, coming to you with another video. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those are the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. So just to make that clear for any newcomers, uh, but I want to do a lesson here, open form, going into things that are happening, you know, across the earth, um, prophecies, things that are clearly taking place in these times, showing that we're in the times, man, we're in the last days. All right. And the Lord said it would happen. The Lord has said it would happen. He spoke through his prophets here. I got Hebrews one and one. It says the most high who at sun dry times and in diverse manners spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. All right. Prophets prophesy. They tell you things going to happen before it happens. And then the Lord has to ordain you as a man that he wishes to go out and warn the people. It's of the Lord. This is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh movie. This is this is his show. All right. So in different times and in different ways, the Lord spoke unto the nation of Israel, you know, through his his prophets. Now, I had second Ezra 15 and one queued up here. Because as you see, these things are happening. A lot of our people, uh, they're scrambling. Gas prices are out off the charts, man. And they're going to keep going up. Food's going to keep going up. Baby formula shortage. More violence. Okay, and the answers are right in your face, but it's hidden in plain sight. And we're going to get that as well. When you read 2nd Ezra 15 and 1, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So the Lord commands the men that he ordains to go out and preach the word to his people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, the words of prophecy, again, prophecy means to tell you before, and the words of prophecy are found in the Bible. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, verse two, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay, verse three says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, let me say that again, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. All right, incredulity goes into unbelief that speak against thee. So, it's already foretold that there's going to be a lot of our people who's going to reject this word that they're not going to believe. And it's important to have faith. And, and without faith, this word won't profit you. Hebrews four and two. So if you don't have the gift of faith, which comes from on high, comes from your how about you? I was shy. Then, yeah, you, you're not going to have the answers. It's going to be hidden to you in plain sight. All right. But don't we're not supposed to fear that those of us. You know, those of us who are called to preach the word. All right. This is a part of, you know, this is what comes with serving the Lord. Verse four says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's scary, man. All right. You know, because the Lord is showing his true rejection for a majority of his people. Two thirds will be destroyed here in America, man. Two thirds of you rebellious Israelites. All right. Um, it says, uh verse uh, for for lack of faith if i may say all right for lack of faith verse 5 says behold said the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction so the lord is bringing destruction all right he's bringing shortage of food famine dearth lack of uh food a lack of water or access to it whether it's engineered who will the scriptures say Man's goings is of the Lord. How then does a man understand his own way? Now, you know, the Lord controls his devil, you know, the rulers of the earth, whether they're holding up, you know, processing goods on the supply chain, whether or not they're buying up all the farmland and hoarding the food. The Lord is doing that. Remember that. And that's why we keep confessing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai out there on the highways and byways, giving all credit to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because this is who's doing all this, man. But the majority of our people didn't listen. So now one of these plagues is going to overtake you. Verse six says, for wickedness has 
have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And, you know, a lot of our people are involved in all this wickedness is going on. OK, uh, you uh, carpet munchers. OK, if you know what that means, you know, woman with woman, man with man, worshiping idols, worship, worshiping the so-called white man. All in the uh, trusting in the beast in the system, not, you know, trusting in the Lord. OK, woe to them to go down to Egypt for help. All right. So this place is full of wickedness. It promotes, you know, A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N-S. All right. This this world promotes uh, pride, corruption, covetousness. OK, things that the Lord hates. All right. So this place is meeting its match. It's, it's meeting its expiration date. And before it goes out, it's going to be a lot of uh, gruesome things to take place. Daniel 12 and 1. In fact, let me get St. Matthew uh, instead. <clears throat> St. Matthew 24, because the time we're coming into <laughs> is going to be a time we, we have never witnessed. All right. St. Matthew 24 and 21 says, for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So we're getting ready to see great tribulation. And this is the beginning. This is the year to turn up, but it's the beginning. You got future blackouts coming <clears throat> very soon. Okay, and it all makes sense. Okay, because uh, uh, blackouts also uh, puts people more in fear. It helps with the uh, NWO agenda that they're pushing forward for. OK, people are going to be begging the government for a uh, hand up. OK, so we're coming in this, uh, some very serious times. We have never seen these times ever since the earth was created, it says verse 22. And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And the elect are those that believe. OK, it's the only way we're going to be saved is those of us who have faith and, and you have faith. Your works are going to show forth whether you're called to preach the word. You're going to do it and consistently do it till, you know, the job is done. Helpers, the ministry, women in order and, and keeping the laws, all of us keeping the laws to the best of our ability. Our works are going to show forth if we truly have faith in the Lord. But the Lord is speeding up time for the elect's sake. That's why you see. The, the, the time of the year is going by so fast, all right? Because the Lord is speeding up time. And as I mentioned, and this is a, a spiritual thoughts, open form, but I had mentioned that these people have no answers on what's going on, okay? And there's a reason for it. The Lord blinded the majority of our people. When you read Romans 11 and 7, it says, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? And what is that that Israel, the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are seeking for? OK, wisdom, wisdom, knowledge and understanding. OK, they're seeking for answers, the truth. All right. It says, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So we call ourselves the hopeful elect. You know, we have answers. We have the truth, but we're praying that we continue to keep it. OK, that we continue on this path. OK, but the election ultimately is going to attain the wisdom of knowledge and understanding. They're going to get answers and understand exactly what's going on in these times. But as it says, and the rest were blinded. So the Lord blinded the majority of his people from getting this this word. Now, remember, the scriptures say, cast not your pearls before swine. Remember, a majority of our people rejected Yahweh when he was on the scene. So the Lord is not saving all of Israel on this side. So we're going to see a lot of examples of Israelites that get put to death. Why it's important to fear the Lord. Verse eight says, according as it is written, the most high have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. So our people are blind until this day. You know, yeah, they have a zeal. Yeah, they may be privy to certain categories of things that are happening, but ultimately they don't have the full scope and understanding of what's going on. So our people have been blinded, majority of our people, from actually seeing what's happening. So without them knowing, what is that, what does that cause? It causes confusion in their lives, chaos, 
all right, uh, instability or to be unstable, right? No security. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So those of the hopeful elect who have the truth, we're stable in these times. We know gas prices going up. The Lord is going to, you know, uh, position us where we have help. You know, we can continue to move forward, you know, as uh, we're getting closer to the destruction of this place. The Lord is going to sustain us. And we know it. And we're mentally stable. We're at, we are at peace, even though this world is continuing to be more chaotic because we have the wisdom and knowledge. It says, in strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Fear is wisdom. Okay? Fear is, without fear, you know, is not, you can't please the Lord. Fear is the first step to be being accepted of Yahweh by Shemiah Mashai. So as we come into these times, things are getting uh, tighter. You know, it's a he heavy squeeze that are being um, waged on the people th that the Lord's doing. But the Lord's going to make sure that his elect is good, man. And that's encouraging to know that we very well could be a part of that number. Okay. So ultimately, keep fighting is the message. You know, basic lesson, you know, just to keep things simple. Um and understanding that uh, we're winning, man. You know, we're winning. Seeing this place go down, we're going to ultimately win. We got to keep fighting. Let me see. Second Peter 1 and 10, and I'm going to close out on this. It says, uh, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. So keep fighting, keep putting in the work, playing our parts, remaining in order, showing brotherly love, paying tights, charity, keeping the laws again to the best of our ability, preaching the word, doing the lessons. And too much is given, much is required. If you're able to do lessons, more lessons than just the bare minimum, do it. Somebody needs to hear this message. The sheep needs to be fed. And I'm speaking myself first and foremost. It says, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. All right. The, the scripture is telling us how to be successful in this truth, how to be successful, the blueprint on how to succeed, how to make it out. We have the answers. The Lord has given us the eyes out to see what's going on, has revealed it unto us. And as the scriptures say, bless that your eyes that they see and your ears that they hear. So open forum. Just want to put that out there for anybody who uh, is going through something, who needs words of encouragement, keep fighting, man. We might be a part of that number, Lord willing, we endure. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.